Okay, hi everyone. Today what we're going to do is show you how to use the imshow command uh, to display an image and we're also going to create the image data completely within MATLAB and we're going to use the Excel-like or spreadsheet-like functionality within MATLAB to do three color layers. A red layer, a green layer, and a blue layer. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the red layer with a new variable. And this new variable right here is going to be five columns across and four rows high. So I'm going to define it like this. So four rows. And I use zeros in the corners. Um, and that allows MATLAB to know what the size or boundaries are of the array. And it fills in the zeros by default from there. In here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an L kind of shape um, by putting lots of red in. So in column two, I'm going to put a bunch of uh, red values, 255 for red, and I'm going to make it like this. So we've got column two completely filled in and the last two entries in columns three and four. And if you sort of look at that, you'll see it kind of makes an L shape. And I'm going to call this over here in this tab layer red. Okay, so now I go back to home and I say new variable again. And here we go. This new variable is going to be called layer, whoops, layer green. So my middle layer, uh, my second layer is now green. And again, I'm going to define the corners on it. And so it's now a five column by four row array. And I'm going to make the last column completely green by filling it in with 255 values like that. Okay, so now I have a green layer. The last thing I'm going to do here is define one more new variable, layer blue, like that. So we have a red, green, and blue layer. And I'm going to define those corners again, like this. And I'm going to make that first column completely blue. So 255, 255, 255, and 255. So now I have three different layers, a red layer, a green layer, and a blue layer. And now those are all defined. And I'm going to go into the command window. And just to verify that it actually exists, I'm going to say layer red and see what MATLAB tells me. Yes. I'm going to say layer uh, green. Let's see what MATLAB tells me. Yes, absolutely. And layer uh, blue. And there you go. So we now have all of these layers. So I'm going to clear that. And now I'm going to use the image show command. So im show. And I'm going to say, oh, sorry, can't do that. I have to go back one more step. I actually have to define a new array that has three layers in it. So I'm going to do it by initializing the first layer. I'm going to say my image is equal to, and I'm going to call it um, equal to layer red. So initially, my image is going to be equal to just a single array called layer red. Now I'm going to put in the green next, and I'm going to say my image, and I'm going to say all rows, all columns, and layer two is equal to layer green, like that. And then I'm going to tack on the red, sorry, the blue layer. I'm going to say my image, all rows, all columns. Third layer is equal to layer blue, like that. So now I have a four row, five column, three layer array or, or matrix a three-dimensional matrix called my image. And now I'm going to use imshow to show that image. Like that. I'm going to hit enter. And it's tiny. I can't see the thing. So I'm going to close that figure. And I'm going to say imshow my image. And I'm going to say initial magnification 
if I can spell that right. I'm going to say I want a factor of 2000, like that, to blow it up nicely. So we're going to make a, a bigger version of that. And I'm going to hit enter like this. And look at that, a much nicer, bigger version of it. And what we can see in here is we've got the combination of all three color channels, red, green, and blue. And if you can visualize those matrices or those arrays that we had before, the first column on the left was filled with blue. The last column on the right was filled with green. So the green layer had values of 255 in it. And then the middle had sort of an L-shaped series of 255s that we'd put in for the red. And um, just above the bottom part of that L, there's a section where all three layers were defined as zero. And when that happens, all you've got is black. So what we've got here is the combination of three different arrays into a three-dimensional matrix. And with that, we have been able to create a combined color image. And there you have it.